Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlogmas video. Today we're going to do a full face of e.l.f. cosmetics. I just went to Target and I have a huge haul, a full face. So it's definitely like one of the cheapest drugstore brands. So I'm really curious to see how these things are. There's a couple of products in here that I've heard really good things about and products that have kind of gone viral and stuff. So I'm really excited to try them out. So yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing I got was the Luminous Putty Primer in Universal Glow. I think this at one point went viral on TikTok or something, I want to say. Um, so I've heard a lot of really good things about this. Um, I think it's supposed to be kind of like a dupe for the Benefit Pore Professional Primer, kind of like really pore filling. Um, but of course I got the glowy one because I love a glow and it has hyaluronic acid in it and vegan collagen it says. Oh, it feels nice. It's very soft. The word putty to me, not a good word. So I was not too excited about using <laughs> That just sounds like thick and sticky or something to me. But that's not at all. It's really smooth, like really soft. It's definitely like hydrating feeling. Like it's just soft and I don't know, it's just nice. It's Glowy is very soft, very velvety, and it just feels like hydrating. It's like a really, like, just feels nice on the skin. I'm impressed. I can't tell if it really, like, blurred anything. I think right here maybe a little bit, like these pores here. But my skin is so, like, uneven right now anyway, so it's just kind of hard to tell. But it definitely made it feel really smooth and soft. The next thing I got was the Camo CC Cream. I've always heard this was a dupe before the It Cosmetics CC Cream that people literally love so much. I got it in light 240W. I think it might be a little dark, we'll have to see, but they, in, at Target they were so sold out of things, so I'm hoping it'll be okay, but it's supposed to be full coverage, natural finish. It has collagen, peptides, and niacinamide in it. And then I also did get their total face sponge. It says use wet or dry. I wasn't going to, but when I tried Milani and that become, became like my favorite face sponge, I figured why not? Because it might be another favorite and I won't know unless I try it. This feels so much like the Milani one. I think I'm gonna go get it wet just because I feel like I'm gonna like it better. Okay, that's a little sketch. When I made, when I got it wet, the dye, like the pink dye, when I squeezed it, came out in the sink. Like it literally, whatever the dye is, like came out when I got it wet. The fact that it's like that loose, that you get it wet and it will like come out. I think I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. Probably gonna be too dark, but. <laughs> yep. Could be worse, could be worse. It's a really pretty finish. Take it down the neck since it's like so not my shade. But really I do feel like it could be worse. I would say definitely full coverage. It's very much so like covering my blemishes really well. My skin looks nice and even. The color isn't looking too bad. It's just a little bit too like yellow. 
and may like maybe like a tinge dark but yeah really pretty finish it definitely has a little bit of a glow so like that natural finish not matte at all which is good that's really pretty like i like that next i got the 16 hour camo concealer i kind of wanted to get the hydrating one but this is like the og camo concealer that i know a lot of people really love this one i had to get in medium peach they literally had either fair that looked like white like stark white and i knew that would wash me out I didn't have a lot of choices um because like i said it was really sold out and picked through so i got medium peach because i kind of had to so i'm hoping it'll be okay maybe the fact that it's more cool toned will like balance out the more like yellow tone of my foundation this one does have a matte finish it's supposed to just be really full coverage and long lasting so let's see I like the big like wand doe foot applicator let's just put it all over my chin very smooth and take that sponge again Wow, definitely full coverage. Um, I would not call this peach. This to me looks yellow. And I don't know how this is medium. Cause look at how light it is. I'm so glad I didn't get fair. Oh my God. <laughs> Cause it was literally like a couple in fair and then it was like a big space and then it was like medium. Wow, I'm very full covered right now. I would say it's, yeah, definitely matte, but not drying matte. Like, it doesn't look dry. Let's see how it, like, wears throughout the day, but a really nice start. Before I powder, I did grab the Monochromatic Multi-Stick for blush. So, I'm going to use this cream first. It's in Sparkling Rose. So says it can be used on the eyes, lips, and cheeks for a soft, glowy, monochromatic look. I love the Ilia multi-stick, so I thought maybe this could be like a dupe for it. So we'll see. Oh! <laughs> Where they cut it off or something, it had like a circle. Definitely not as pigmented as the Ilia ones. And it looks like it is kind of taking off some foundation too, but but that might be good because sometimes they're so pigmented that it's like you put too much on. It's definitely a lighter, more see-through, sheer formula. A teeny bit patchy, like just not as like nice and even. You just kind of see like it just sticks to certain spots, but not bad. And it's nice and sheer, like I said, so it's like not like it's very noticeable. Just kind of puts like a little flush of color. I'm just going to add some color to my lips and just put it on my lips too for the time being. Oh, that's a really pretty lip color does have a little bit of shimmer in it too. Some little sparkles in there. That's a pretty shade. So now I'm going to set my face with the Perfect Finish HD Powder. They have a loose one and they have a pressed one. A lot of times go with loose, so I wanted to try the pressed one. And this again, I've heard, is a dupe for like the Laura Mercier powder. Obviously, like I said, this, is, this one's pressed and that one's loose, but should hopefully get the same like effect as the loose one. Wow, it's like straight up white. It's gonna take a big fluffy brush with cat hair on it. I 
I think because it's white, I'm worried that I'm gonna get a flashback if I take any photos with lash, but it gave a nice like sheen over the skin. Definitely mattifying. I feel like I maybe got like a tinge paler. It's just so white that I feel like there's no way that like it doesn't create that. Like I wonder on deeper skin tones how it would look because it definitely like right when I put it on like I was like, oh, like I'm lighter. <laughs> but I mean, my skin looks really pretty. It looks very even, very like, it's very matte. That's for sure, but it's still really pretty. Next, I got the Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. It says long lasting wear. I only saw one shade of this, so I, I mean, one shade's definitely not gonna do it on all skin tones, so it's kind of unfortunate but they have a couple other palettes of bronzer. They have like a contouring palette. I think they have even like a different kind of bronzer too. Like not the primer infused bronzer. But yeah, this will definitely work for me, but I just feel like deeper skin tones, like that's not gonna work. The color is really pretty for my skin tone though. Like that's, it's a very pretty cool tone, more cool tone shade. It's not like orange or anything, which I like really dislike very orangey bronzers. Really pretty. Not like too pigmented where like you place it and you're like, oh my god, oh no. It just like blends out really nicely. Definitely can build it up, add more. I would say I mean, pretty much just a perfect little everyday bronzer. They have a couple different brow products. I grabbed the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I got this in neutral brown because I usually like a very thin like pencil. So, so teeny. Just gonna brush through quick. Just a really little skinny. So. Definitely super easy. It's pretty much the same color as my Anastasia brow pencil in chocolate. Goes on well, nice and pigmented. Easily like blends out with the spoolie to kind of blend with the hairs and look more, nice and like fluffy and natural. Honestly, that was so easy perform just like the brow is just like the benefit one i literally don't have like a bad thing to say i got the bite size eyeshadow in rose water this was literally it was this and it was the blue palette which was very very blue and i just knew i wouldn't use it so it is really pretty um but i know they have a lots of different shades of these little bite size palettes but I've heard really good things about them, so I wanted to try it. They have lots of it. They have a very giant palette, too. And then they have some palettes that are about this long that probably have, like, maybe 12 shades in them. So I'm just going to go in with this neutral shade first. These are so cute. Definitely a very light shade, but pretty, and it definitely blended out. I'm gonna go in with this darkest one. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's just a very deep purple. a nice pretty purpley shade. 
It's a little harder to blend out, I would say. Just like a little bit more patchy, I would say, and just not as easily blendable, but it still looks really pretty. On the eye lid, I'm gonna use this more um, pinky shade, the darker of the two shimmers. I think I'm just gonna use my finger. I don't love it, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna take the very lightest one on my brow bone and hopefully it's not too like dark. I got the No Budge Retractable Eyeliner and I got it in charcoal. Um, I'm hoping it's a nice like cool toned gray that goes with this eyeshadow. And it does say it is waterproof. Oh, I like the packaging. It's like a nice like matte packaging. It feels very luxurious. Yeah, it's just like a darker gray tone. And I was hoping that it was kind of like a dupe for the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. They definitely don't have nearly as many shades as that one does, but... Definitely very pigmented and easy to use, easy to apply. I'm gonna take a little dense brush and just kind of blend it out a little bit. We'll see if it blends out, I guess. I think it blends out just as nicely as a 24-7 pencil. And then for mascara, I got the Big Mood Mega Volume and Lifting Mascara. And it has like the brush that I like, that more like hourglass fluffy look. It says lifts and separates lashes. I love a very voluminous mascara, so I like the packaging. <laughs> Purple. Yeah. I forgot to... Curl the lashes quick. Almost forgot. It doesn't like put on as thick of a coat as like the Lancome one or the Better Than Sex mascara. It's definitely pretty and it's more gives you more of like a wispy lash, but it's not I would not I would say it's not as like dramatic. Even as like the Bite Beauty upswing mascara too. I think because it just puts like a thinner coat on. Like it just feels like you're not getting as much product on the lashes or something. It's still really pretty. It's a nice mascara. It's just not as voluminous as my other ones, but and then I saw only a lot of glosses, and I don't like a very like sheer gloss. Um, so I saw these Hydrating Core Lip Shines. I thought they were kind of cute, it has like a little heart in the center. I got it in Happy. It said like a hydrating, sheer like, like touch of color. So I thought that would be maybe perfect for me. Smells like candy. I 
definitely feels hydrating. I don't know if it really goes with the eyes much. I mean, it's pretty nude, so it's not terrible or anything, but it feels nice. It just smells like candy, and I don't love like artificial, like very strong fruity scents, but nice and smooth, feels hydrating, feels really nice on the lips, and the color is really pretty. Yeah, I like it. And the last thing I got was the Microfine Stay All Night Setting Mist. That name reminded me of like the All Nighter <laughs> setting spray. Um, it says up to 16 hour wear. It has green tea, cucumber, and aloe in it. That smells really good. I feel like it kind of smells like cologne or like perfume, but a nice, good, like, like a good in a good way, like a very, very light florally scent. It's not like that Milani one where I sprayed and I was like, <laughs> and the mist is so fine. Like it's like a, such a nice, light, little spritz. That's really nice. We'll see if it works and it makes my makeup last all day, but definitely nice. It was like refreshing. <laughs> well, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you liked my look. I am definitely really impressed. I don't think there's one thing that I hated. I feel like the blush was maybe a little patchy and the darker shadow was maybe a little patchy and a little bit harder to blend out, but like it, they both still really look nice. They weren't terrible at all, especially the, for the prices of these items. I definitely was impressed, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me know what your favorite e.l.f. product is. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. I will have a second video coming today as well because I am a little bit behind on Vlogmas. So stay on the lookout for the second video being posted today and I will see you later for another Vlogmas video.